welcome to today's video. This is going to be a first impressions because this literally just showed up on the doorstep. So I thought it would be very fun to kind of open it up together and take a look, see what we've got. These are the Colorverse Nebula Premium Notebooks. So they do have an original that is Tomoe River paper. These are not Tomoe River, which is very interesting. And it's interesting because I'm very familiar with Tomoe River. You are probably as well if you're watching this. And if you're not, I'll put links so you can check it out. But this is a different paper, so I have no idea how this is going to perform. I have not seen anybody's reviews. I mean, like, I haven't looked at any reviews because I just wanted to see how it would be for the first time for myself. So I want to do that with you. Now, first up, uh, thank you to Luxury Brands in the USA for sending these over for me. These are, they retail for 20 US or like 29 Canadian and they are a five size. They have a whole bunch of colors. So let's just take a look here. They got a whole bunch of colors. Um, cover material, latex impregnated strengthened paper made in the USA. Awesome. Featuring a striking range of robust colors and distinct embossing. So this is the tea gray and this is the cozy yellow. I very much like this color palette and it comes with ruling papers like guide sheets which I think is really very handy I love guide sheets and even when I use up a notebook I save them for like my next notebooks and how to use guide sheet ink proof paper it lies flat uh, magnetic bookmark oh cool so if you know Colorverse Ink, you will know they do really cool packaging and include really nifty things. And I think so far this is no exception. Now I've got two plain notebooks here and uh, 192 pages, 90 gram ink proof paper. So the plain notebook provides two guide sheets of four types. Very cool. Okay, well, let's open that up. I mean, let's open this up. Beautiful belly band, very elegant. It's like a gold foil. And the back gives you details about your notebook made in Korea, color versus ink. These are your four types of guides. Again, very cool. Really looking forward to giving this a shot. Ooh, okay. Belly band is taped in place. We can peel that off gently. In true color verse style, doing a very cool opening to your notebook make your color story with nebula i love that love it oh oh my goodness look at this okay this is way i haven't even gotten to the paper yet so at this point we do not know what the paper's performance is but i am very excited about what we have here now if we take off the belly band plain notebook quite a thick notebook um, they say it lies flat. It does. Good, good, does. Um, it is, it looks like it's sewn. Yes, it is sewn. So very easy to open it up. Very cool, very exciting. Okay, I'm gonna just, it's really gloomy out today and it's snowing, so it's not the greatest light. Um, the paper, hang on, give me one second. Okay, it doesn't smell like much. I know it might seem weird. It's not super coated. It actually feels like it has a bit of texture to it. It doesn't look shiny or glossy or velvety. And uh, rounded corners, like it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, okay, just taking a look here. I like this elastic if you use them, I mean, Sometimes I use them, sometimes I don't, but for this size of notebook, I'll probably use them. And I do like that it's covered by the pocket, so it doesn't bump. There is a bump, but it doesn't like stick out. I think this is so pretty, look at this. And we've got stuff, oh gosh. I, might, I don't even know if we're gonna get to writing. Okay, no we will, don't worry. Um, Nebula Note Premium, how to use the guide sheets, very cute. Oh, very cute. 
And these are the magnetic bookmarks. <gasps> it's not an annoying string that I have to keep moving around and then worrying about cats eating the ends and fraying it. And you can reuse these for other things. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty excited. I'm really looking forward to trying these. These are not plastic coated, so they are paper. So be careful if you are concerned about ink. This is square and oblique. And this is dot and line. Interesting. Uh, this is rectangular swatch and square swatch. Oh my goodness. Okay. Legit. This is super cool. Now, let's do the really fun stuff. Wait, the really fun stuff is not yet. Let's take a look at how the guides show through. It's visible, no problem. And let's try this one. Awesome. Okay, I just wanted to see that. Let's let's give it a go, shall we? Yes, we shall. Um, because of wait, let me try. I'm gonna try to do something confusing. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna do it this way, because I've got a bunch of stuff around me. Okay, so I have. A bunch of inked pens, and we're gonna open up my little pouch with his Muller ink to pens. I actually might not even make it to these. I might just start out with what I've got here. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is use a very fine writer. Why am I doing this? I don't know. I don't know why. I'm gonna pull this down so I don't wanna like grease up the page. Let's just see what happens. Okay, no, <laughs> we're gonna use a different nib. We're gonna use something. We're gonna use something that's a little broader. I'm just, I'm just really excited for this. Okay, ready? Are we ready? <gasps> okay, okay, interesting. Interesting. Lots of texture. Lots of texture going on here. Um, drying times look like they're pretty fast. Okay, let's do... I do like this ruling because it's kind of like a bullet journal. I mean, I don't bullet journal. But I do like that there's like a pattern I can kind of doodle in. Um... This is the... Fine... Writing... International... This is the Fenestro... With a... Broad... Steel nib... Now this nib is not over polished or anything, but... I do think this paper will be really good for super smooth nibs because I think it'll give it enough tooth that any nibs that might be over polished will be able to catch pretty well. Um, the ink is, okay, the ink is a, it's um, a mix because I'm lazy. Um, it's Pilot Hiroshizuku Suki. Yo, and I dipped it in dye mine amber. So it starts out pretty green and it's becoming more like Suki Yo, kind of. Okay, interesting. Let's just do a couple more. Um, I'll probably speed up this section so you don't have to like sit here and watch me write. Lots of feedback.
Okay, so this is an untipped nib, and I do find that there's a bit of skipping. Because it's a very broad nib, so trying to keep contact, complete contact with the paper requires me to slow down a bit, so interesting. So if I, you can kind of see that, I, I'm guessing it's because of the tooth that it's it's sort of giving me some incomplete lines because I don't have issues with this nib. And that's fine, maybe this paper is just not meant for very broad untipped nibs. Okay, let's do one more and Let's do a nice inky one. Okay, that was my horrible writing, not the fault of the paper. Very interesting. And I guess we should do a flex. So I just ink this. Um, I haven't really used this one very much yet. Ooh. Okay, this is the Very interesting. It does, it feels really nice with the flex nib. Like it just, the nib is not slipping on the page because of that texture is kind of holding it. And I actually really like that. That feels, that feels really good. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and we're gonna come back and take a look at it a little more closely. Interesting, it does not like my folded nib. Maybe it's because the paper is bouncing around, I'm not sure, but anyway, let's let that dry too. And while that dries, I am going to this that's almost dry already mm, very pretty Definitely seeing some sheen there. This is very saturated. I'm actually surprised at how long it's taking to dry because it feels like with regular writing, even with this, this dried really quickly. Very interesting. It's doing really well. Like I'm not seeing feathering. I'm not seeing bleeding or um, like, there is some show through, that's fine with me. But there's no feathering. Mm, very interesting. Very textured. I'm very much enjoying this paper. All right, I, I have to say I'm quite impressed. And I actually very much enjoy the paper. Drying times are not super long. Um, shading is pretty decent. There is some sheen. It does tone down the sheen a little bit, but I'm not a, like super against that. If I really want a super sheeny paper, then Tomoe River is fine with me or Graffilo, but this one's really nice for an alternative. And how does it do with the pa the water? Okay, so there's definitely a bit of um, like moisture soak through. So if you just use a blotter sheet or something, not your guide, but if you use a blotter sheet, that should stop this from happening. 
and it's not terrible. I think this will be a really fantastic option for like artwork and hand lettering. Wow, I'm... This is really cool. I'm gonna just do something fun here. Love this notebook. Okay, this is just my first impression. I will spend the next few weeks filling this up and we will come back to do a complete review and I'll show you what I've done with it, but hot damn, I love it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below if you have any questions that you want me to address when I do the full review. Again, this is just first impressions. Things might change. I haven't touched everything on the notebook. It's more so because this is a really a writing channel and a pen channel. I wanted to see how it would feel with fountain pens. Um, when I do the full review, I'll do pencils and all that stuff. But like right now, I'm super excited to fill this up with some splatters and textures and inky messes. So thank you again to Luxury Brands for sending this over. I will put links down below so you could check out the notebook. And um, wow, so much fun. I hope this excites you and that it inspires you possibly to do something inky. That's everything, you guys. I'm going to sign off now and I will see you next time.